Today, we're going to talk about one term that tends to lead to a lot of confusion because it's very broadly used, if not overused, and that's JIT. And that, by that, I mean just in time. So when you think of just in time, you think that something doesn't happen until it absolutely needs to, or it's kind of delivered in the moment, so to speak. Well, what a lot of vendors mean when they say just in time access is that they're actually just gating a user's ability to log into a particular system. So this is often done by, let's say, vaulting credentials and never exposing those to the user and passing them back a pre-authenticated session. Well, this sounds good, except what it actually means is that there is a static set of credentials with fixed permissions that live on that target system at all times. So if there were ever to be some way that those credentials were breached, maybe by you know, somebody accessing them in a way that they shouldn't in the system that is providing the so-called JIT, or the target resource itself may suffer from a breach. That account is still there with whatever permissions that user is entitled to. Now, Brightiv does things a little bit differently. What we think that just-in-time should mean is just-in-time delivery of the actual permissions on that target system. So to provide an example, let's say that you are a Salesforce user. And most vendors, when they would say just in time, would be that that user has an account, regardless of whether they're a basic user with some read-only access or an administrative user. The just in time part means that the user can only get access to those static credentials whenever they request it through whatever this provider is, probably some sort of privileged access management tool. And with the bride of model, that user, they could log in directly to Salesforce to their account. But if they hadn't first gone through Brightiv to request their permissions to check them out in our terminology, they would find that they had access to nothing, not even read-only access potential. You could actually remove everything from their account. Zero standing privileges. Now, when the user wants to perform an action, they would check out the proper permissions in Brightive that they were entitled to. And just in time, Brightive leverages its integration and trust relationship with Salesforce to actually add those permissions to that particular user's account. So now they can do whatever they need to. Let's say they can update some account records for customers. And where this becomes interesting is that over time, as people move through an organization or they increase the responsibilities, what they're allowed to do in systems like that may increase. So for example, in Salesforce, you might become a sort of power user or even administrator. Your floor of access to release privilege now raises up to whatever that new set of permissions is for you. So while you are prevented from, let's say, normally logging into that system because you're forced to go through this privileged access management tool, and they just in time provide you the ability to access your account, the fact remains that whatever that new level of permissions are that you have access to still sits in Salesforce. So in the event of any sort of a breach or compromise, the attacker has full access to whatever your permissions provide. Now in the bride of model, as you elevate your responsibility or your permissions needs, we can actually create those as separate distinct profiles. This granular approach means that you could actually check out only the level of access you need. So if you, from your normal day to day, only need a basic level of access, let's say read only to your accounts, that's what you could work with day in and day out. And Salesforce, that's all it has for you. And when you're done, you check the access back in or it expires automatically. And Brighton will actually remove that off of your account. And then only when you need those more, let's say, high level of power user functions like an administrative control, you can check out only those specific permissions. So you are truly using the least privileges needed for your job, and they are only being activated. The authorization, the permissions themselves, are being delivered by Brightiv just in time, just when you need them. So I hope you found that helpful. And you'll see that not all JIT is created equally. And we feel like if you're not actually managing the permissions or the authorizations on the systems themselves, then what you're delivering, maybe not just in time like we mean it.